This is example 1.5 um, on page 23 of our textbook. Um, and then this is an example of how to count up the number of significant figures in a particular number. Um, this is a really important skill for any young scientist because um, you're going to be doing a lot of data collection in labs and in this class and in future um, labs and you're going to need to know how to make sure that you write down the correct number of significant digits. Uh, this is also going to be helpful when you're doing calculations. Um, you need to write the correct significant digits when you're writing your answer, um, otherwise it's going to be points off. So super important skill, um, helps keep us consistent in the scientific community. So we have letters A through F. Um, of different numbers. Basically, we want to know how many significant figures, or sig figs for short, are in each number. So for the first one, A, you have 0 0.04450 meters. So really the trickiest part of determining significant figures is when it comes to the zero rules. So right off the bat here, we got to figure out which zeros are considered significant. Are they all significant or none of them significant? So anytime you have a leading zero, meaning a zero that comes before any of the um, numbers in the number, like four or five in this case, they're non-significant. So I'm gonna put little X marks on the non-significant numbers. So if we're reading from left to right, this guy, not significant because he's the leading zero. This guy, not significant because he's also leading. Our significant numbers start at four because it's not a zero. So we have one, two, three, and then got to figure out, is that trailing zero, aka the last zero, is that significant? Yes, it is, because it's after a decimal place. So this zero is also significant. So we have one, two, three, four sig figs in this number. For our second guy, we have 5.0003 kilometers. So now the issue becomes, well, these aren't trailing zeros, they're not leading zeros. This is an instance called a sandwich zero. Pretty much any time you have a zero in the middle of a number, it's going to be significant. So right off the bat, we got five, that's significant. This zero is significant, this zero, this zero, and this three. So if we count them up, we got one, two, three, four, five. We have five sig figs, or significant figures. For C, we have a quantity, a defined quantity, 10 decimeters is equal to one meter. There's no decimals, it seems kind of weird, seems kind of ambiguous. Well, pretty much any time you see a defined quantity or equality like one meter equals 100 centimeters, or in this case, 10 decimeters equals one meter, these actually don't have significant figures at all. Um, these have unlimited number of significant figures because they're a predefined quantity. So this one's kind of like little bit of a trick question. This is unlimited significant figures. And that's going to be the case for any basic defined um, quantity relationship, especially when it comes to the metric system. All right, so that was a weird one, but we're going to get back on track with kind of relatively normal examples. D, this is our first um, number that's written in scientific notation here. So one thing for scientific notation, you never count this 
will tend to the whatever number, whether it be 5, 10, negative 5, whatever. We don't count that as significant digits. So we're really only concerned with the first portion of the number. So right off the bat, we're starting with the 1. So we're going to consider that significant. And then recall back to our first example, if you got trailing zeros and they're accompanied by a decimal place, then we count them. So this, this, and this are all significant digits. Therefore, we have one, two, three, <coughs> excuse me, four significant figures in this example. Moving on to our next one, we got a bunch of zeros in front of a two. We have 0 0.00002. Now, since these zeros are at the beginning of the number, there's no numbers before them, that means this zero, not significant. Oops, let me make that thinner. That guy, not significant, nor is that guy, or that, or that, or that. They're only significant if they're placed after a number and there's a decimal place present. Or if they're sandwiched in between two numbers, like in our example for B. So even though this has a bunch of digit, digits in it, since all of them are leading zeros, Except for this two, this guy only has one sig fig. Seems kind of weird, but that's how you count it. And then finally for F, we have a one out in front. So we know that's gonna count as a significant digit. And then we have that, we have four zeros afterward. But, do we have a decimal? We don't. So scientists really don't like numbers that are written on this, uh, written on this, written like this, because it's kind of ambiguous. Um, are those zeros significant or are they not? If we had a decimal there, they would absolutely be considered significant. But since we don't have one, this is considered ambiguous and we don't really know. So try to avoid writing numbers like this. Um, <coughs> make sure that if you want to count those zeros as significant, you put a little decimal there. If you put a little decimal there, those become significant and it's not ambiguous anymore. So hopefully that helps clarify some of the significant figure counting rules.